Uh, let's talk sports. Mm -hmm. U.S. athletes uh, Gwen Berry placed third in the hammer throw on Saturday, and as the national anthem began to play with the winners at the podium, take a look. Berry turned her back on the American flag, covering her, covering her face with a T-shirt that read, Activist, activist athlete on the front. And she's calling it a setup, telling the New York Post, quote, I feel like it was a setup, and they did it on purpose. They had enough opportunities to play the national anthem before we got up there. It was real disrespectful. Try to get your head around that statement. Jack Brewer is trying to do that. We asked him to comment on it, former NFL player, CEO of the Brewer Group. Jack, uh, first off, how, what do you make of this incident? Disrespectful to play the national anthem? They, were gonna, they told her they were going to play it before she got out there? You know what? It's always scheduled to play the national anthem, but it doesn't matter when you're putting on uh, that uniform. Her uniform says America. She's representing America, uh, and the U.S. Olympic Committee needs to do something about this garbage. Uh, but what really saddens me uh, is that we have a culture now in our country, and it's growing, a culture of people who disrespect our nation, disrespect our flag, and disrespect our anthem. It, it, it shouldn't be allowed. When you think, look back and think about greats like Jesse Owens, uh, who overcame real uh, racism and overcame, uh, you know, all the issues that came along with that, who, who was a, a, a grandson of a slave, uh, who was the son of a sharecropper. He stood on the podium and proudly represented this nation. And she claims to be standing up against racism. Well, I have news for her, that there are a lot that came before her that went through real racism. And the only reason they got through it is because they live in America, where we have a constitution that allows us uh, to go after our freedoms and to become whoever we want to become. And we need to start to educate these athletes. We need to start to educate these youth that are being indoctrinated now in our schools, being indoctrinated by this liberal media, uh, and that are starting to hate this country. We have a massive divide, and it's not because of President Trump, it's not because of conservatives, it's not because of the patriots in America. It's because of this leftist mentality that doesn't appreciate what this country has done for them, allowing them the freedoms to be able to go out and participate in sports like this as a black woman. So many black women have gone through so much to be, even be able to get into this situation. And so she's being completely disrespectful for all of those that have died for us. And I'm just sick and tired of seeing it. So she just tweeted this out this morning, and I'll share it with you. Uh, Gwen Berry did. I never said I hated this country. People try to put words in my mouth, but they can't. That's why I speak out. I love my people. All right, uh, that's how she stands. The USA Track and Field statement made this statement. The national anthem was scheduled to play at 5.20. We didn't wait until the athletes were on the podium for the Hammer Throw Awards. The national anthem is played every day, according to a previously published schedule. So the fact is, I'm not worried about the semantics of this or the schedule. The fact that she feels this way. And I think that the IOC passed a rule. Nobody can protest their flag on the podiums. They just made that a universal rule. What's going to happen if she places... And she does it again on the international stage. Something should happen. They should, they should bar her for competition uh, at this point. When you become a member of a team, you cannot go out and protest against a team uh, that you become a member of. It just makes no sense at all. No matter what sport you're in, whether it's you're in the National Football League, whether you're in baseball, any sport, uh, just the fact that we're having this conversation is ridiculous. And I think uh, I'm glad that the International Olympic Committee did step up and make that rule. Uh, but they can't force these athletes to do it once they get in, on the stage. And they need to do something that has some real repercussions. Uh, we're going into uh, a time where our Olympics team is probably one of the strongest we've ever had. Uh, we have more world records and more um, personal records that have been broken over this past Olympic trials than I've ever seen before. And so we have a lot to celebrate in this nation. When you look across, we have so many great minorities that are participating for our nation uh, in, in breaking records, and we need to continue that. Right. But more importantly, we need to start being a better examples to these children, all these kids that are going to be tuning into the Olympics right now. We, are, we have a spiritual battle going on right now in this nation uh, where we, we have forces of evil uh, dividing us with critical race theory and all all of these ha these hate messages going out. We need to stop it. And the Olympics is a time for unity, and that's the only thing that it needs to represent right. in the name of Jesus. I, I just want, yeah, I want to just stop the hyphen period. I just look at my track team as Americans. I look at my uh, field hockey team as a bunch of Americans. That's it. We're so into the hyphen, which your background is, skin color is. I never remember anything like this in my lifetime. Everything is about skin and nationality and gender and identity. Let's just get back to being Americans. That's the way I look That's at right. it. That's right. Jack Brewer, thanks so That's much. Right.
Thank you. God bless you. When that starting gun goes off in the Olympics, no athlete cares what color their skin is. I, I hope before, too. Uh, thanks so much, Jack.